All right, this is Kyle Davis for Guardians Legacy. We've gotten a lot done. This is the end of Milestone 3. We effectively got the skeletal structure of nodes finished, and we're looking on finishing implementing that between saves and also in implementation of being able to use that as an index for in combat. Along with that, combat has a lot of the main skeletal structure done, and we're looking at Augmenting that, we got some good playtesting from the teachers today with a lot of good critiques, along with us trying to reiterate some of our work so that it's more polished. So other than that, I'll let the team go around. Soccer Pan artist. This week I worked on primarily just wrapping up more text stream for the environments and doing more building things. And starting next sprint, I plan on reiterating on pretty much all the textures I've made this far. Uh, Brendan Artist, I made uh, assets from the asset tables, chairs, and bar stools. Next week, I'm going to be working on the uh, church and blacksmith. Uh, Peter Tibbles, the designer. This week, uh, we went back, designers met up, we went back uh, going through and reiterating some of the. Uh, UI stuff and looking to uh, like change it, make it better, and as well as starting to work on uh, level design from the forest area and some of the other puzzles and whatnot, as well as aciding out the tavern and the uptown. Uh, yeah, and that's it. Uh, moving on next week is going to be more of the same leveling and uh, level designing and getting everything all good to go. I was a Metalcroft designer. This week I did a little bit of UI stuff, some combat camera stuff. Yeah, some level design and uh, some documentation. No. Connor Bish, designer. Uh, I worked on level design. Uh, I'm gonna rework the UI. And uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I decide a little less I worked on implementing the AI decision. Thing, and then I started working on research for the inventory system and just barely started that. Uh, Raina Pomisol, programmer. Um, this week I worked on uh, making a simple UI for the uh, node systems so that we can actually see what adding nodes to the tree does. Um, and then I'm starting to work on uh, building an inventory system for the nodes so that we can save and load them and have a persistent uh, inventory of nodes. Chris McCoon, programmer. This week I spent a lot of time building the combat system, building it as modularly as we could, that way we could future-proof it to make sure the nodes could make it in, and make sure everything would work with weapons and equipment and things of that nature. Uh, this coming week I'm going to be working a lot more on the combat system and the feedback loop it involves, so that's going to take up the majority of half of our team, and hopefully it goes well. Hey everyone, I'm Alec, working on Guardians Legacy as a designer with an emphasis on world building and story progression. Uh, this week I've been working on the broad world building concepts that we'll use to begin writing the specific story that you as the character will experience as you play the game. Um, that's about it for me. Alright, Devin Garrett, programmer. This past week, I spent it uh, helping Reyna to compile our two parallel iteration of the node system together. I spent it uh, doing some bug squashing and getting the build compiled, and it was a build week. And then I added in stat persistence and helped fix some rendering settings that were causing some strange lines to appear in the textures and, mo er, and shadows, but those have all been resolved now. For this next week, I'm going to be helping Chris with uh, finishing up the combat loop and all of that, and nothing's really standing in my way right now. Mikhail Farrell, lead artist. Um, just finished the character completely. Might go back and fix the hair texture because it's a bit, like, shiny. But overall, it should be fine. It's implemented and all that fun stuff. I'm going to now be working on the environment for the forest, mostly modular 
assets. Um, the only thing really standing in my way is kind of directing a new change of the textures. They're a little too realistic and dull for the style we're looking for. So I'm going to be helping the, uh, Zach with that. Overall, we're doing pretty well. Uh, we've gotten most of the stuff done for our minimum viable product, and we're looking to complete that within the next few weeks to the end of this. Plus. Uh, to the end of this semester, or not semester, uh, the end of this milestone, and then the fifth milestone is going to be all reiterating and making sure everything's polished for green light, along with making sure that we could get back in, and if not, we're doing a lot of scouting to make sure that we can keep the project going and keep making progress. Other than that, uh, it's just basically make sure we get our backlog detailed out so that we know exactly what we need to do so that it's just start getting things together and be very regimented on that. Otherwise, we're working at an efficient pace and we're looking to still keep that up even after the break, which would be a nice thing to happen. So other than that, that's our milestone three on week nine of the project, and that's about it.